Hello friends, this is Pankaj and you are watching AM and DevOps tutorial. In this video, we will see how you can connect your master server with the slave. In my last video, we had covered Jenkins distributed architecture where we had seen that we can connect the master with the different servers, for example, development, testing, or it can be production, which are the slaves machine. And we can create a connection between these machines, between master and slaves by using JNLP. We already have master server where we already have Jenkins installed. And there is no need to install Jenkins on these slave machines. All you need to install JDK on it. And these servers can be connected to master using JNLP connection. In this video, we'll see how you can do this. So before starting this video, if you have not subscribed this channel, so you can subscribe it and do press the bell icon. Let's get started. Let me go to the AWS server. Here you can see we have Ubuntu where I have already Jenkins installed. And this is my slave Ubuntu, which we had installed in my last video. So first we will connect with this slave Ubuntu. Let me open this and just copy its IP address. And now go to the putty and put the IP address here and click on SSH, click on auth and upload the PPK file. This way we will be connected with the slave machine. And just type Ubuntu here to login and click on enter. And let me clear the screen. And let's first update your machine. So to update it, sudo apt-get update. It will update the system. Click on enter. Once the system once the system will be updated, you need to install JDK. To install JDK, just type sudo apt-get install default hyphen JDK. And click on enter. It will install the JDK on your machine. Click on Y. Click on enter. Once Java is installed, just check if it is installed successfully or not. Type Java hyphen version and click on enter. It will show you the version. So I can see I have 11.6 version. So that means our Java has been installed successfully. Now just go to the Jenkins and here the first setting that you need to do is just go to the manage Jenkins. And here go to the configure global security. In this screen, just scroll down and you will find that here we have agent and here just click on random and click on save. So now we will create a new node and let me name it something like testing server. Testing hyphen server. Click on permanent agent and click on OK. Let's configure this now. Number of executors, let's keep it two. And description like uh, this is my testing server. And in the remote root directory, this is a directory where my code in Git will be downloaded. So let's keep it hyphen home, hyphen Ubuntu, which is the home directory of Ubuntu. And let me name it Jenkins. So this will be our directory where our code will be downloaded. Let's keep the labels empty. And now here, just select this launch agent by connecting it to the master. That This means that we will be connecting using JNLP. That's it. Now just save. Once you will save it, you can see we have testing server. This is the node, but it is not connected with the master. This is showing this cross icon. Let's open it. Now here you will see that we have this launch button. Just click on it. It will download your agent file. Click on keep. It has downloaded slave agent.jnlp file and after that just click on agent.jar so it will also get downloaded. We we will be using these two files jnlp file and this jar file to connect with our master. Once these two files are downloaded just go on and download filezilla. To download filezilla just type download filezilla and here you will get the first link just click on it. And from this button, you can download the FileZilla client. So it is a FTP client using which you can upload the files in the server. So we will upload those two files which we have downloaded on the server using this FileZilla client. So let me open this FileZilla now. This is our FileZilla and in the host, you need to put your IP address. In the host, just put the IP address of slave machine. So just go over here and copy the IP address and paste it over here and in the username put uh, ubuntu in the port type 22 and in the edit 
just go to the settings and here click on SFTP and here upload your key file which is our Ubuntu test PPK and click on OK and now click on quick connect so this will be connected to our slave server in the left pane you will see we are connected with the local and in the right now we are connected with the remote so now just go to the downloads in the C we have this users and in the users just go to your username and just go to the downloads here you will see two files which is agent.jar and slave agent so we have this agent we have this slave agent.jnlp just drag and drop over here and also drag and drop this agent.jar file once this is done just go to the putty and here just type ls now here you can see we have this agent.jar file and slave agent.jnlp file and also make sure to create this jenkins directory so to create this just type mkdir and jenkins click on enter it will create your directory because we have created we have created this directory jenkins because whatever code we will be downloaded from the github it will get downloaded here and we had mentioned this while creating our testing server node agent once these files are uploaded just go to the jenkins and uh, copy this command and here type sudo and uh, paste your command here and click on enter let's see what happens next it is getting failed we are getting some error which is port 40237 is not reachable it is trying to search for the port 40237 so we need to open this port in our server so let me go to our aws and we have this ubuntu here the where we have jenkins installed here go to the launch here go to the actions and click on edit inbound rules and from this screen you need to open your tcp port so click on add rule and tcp the ip address it is looking for is 40237 let me check it again 40237 okay and uh, select anywhere now click on save this will open the port 40237 for us now go back to the jenkins and type that command again and click on enter now it should get connected let's find out see it has been connected now successfully so now go back to the jenkins and go back to the nodes we should not see cross sign over here now okay now here you can see the master and testing server has been connected successfully because as you can see there's no cross sign over here so this way you can create your slave agent and you can connect that slave with your master that's it from this video guys thank you friends if you enjoyed this video subscribe my channel like this video and share this with your friends thanks again for watching